Hi, welcome to Entertainment Boulevard. I'm your host, Toluanimi Talabi. Happening today on our boulevard, we'll meet Reed Spalding, a junior at Towson High School. Reed, who has a heart that loves to help the environment, is a talented drummer and a member of the band, The Adirondacks. On this show, we'll see what Reed Spalding has done to support the Chesapeake Bay and the environment. Also, his band will perform a pair of songs that will get you in a groove. When Reed is not off saving the environment, he is jamming and playing his drums out alongside his band members, Josh, Vincent, and Henry. The Adirondacks is a band that started in 2019. However, he and his bandmates have been playing together since they were kids. The first song, an original song called Losing Our Minds, was written and recorded in the spring of 2020 to express frustrations with quarantining with overdriven guitar and distorted vocals. Running away, taking the money on the track away. Question is, do I play? Oh, no. 
That was good. Sweet. In 2020, Reed founded the Tributary Music Festival as a way to support the Chesapeake Bay Foundation. This all started because of his visit to Cape Cod, where he noticed how clean the water was and the effort made by citizens to keep it clean. He decided that there needed to be change in the contaminated water of Chesapeake Bay. If the waters of Cape Cod could be clean, so could Chesapeake Bay. The festival was set to take place last year, but because of the pandemic, it was put on hold. But he persisted. Let's find out how Reed put his passion for music and the Chesapeake Bay to make a difference. Reed Spaulding, a junior from Towson High School, created a music festival to benefit the Chesapeake Bay Foundation, which was held at the Baltimore Museum of Industry at the Inner Harbor. This is important to me because I've grown up in and around the Bay my whole life. I've, I love being on the Bay and then I also love music. So these two things are like two of the most important things in my life and I know all the issues facing the Bay and so it's really important to address them through this cause. The festival would include a lineup of popular bands, various local bands, and bands from Lutherville Music School. Ah, it's, it's awesome. I feel like the kids are like really like in it and also um, the event so far is just going really well, you know, like, uh, everyone's really collaborative, uh, community-based, it's really cool. Um, I am here to support my friend's band and to see other local musicians and support the kids in the Bay. And it's great to see kids come out and play and be passionate about music. The energy right now is super high, we have lots of volunteers, people setting up, everyone's getting pumped. Some of our like attendees starting to filter in and hopefully as the band start and as everything starts going, we'll have all types of fun stuff. More people will start coming in, coming in to support the Bay. Everyone here loves music, loves the Bay. So it's just a really fun crowd, really fun energy. The event also featured food trucks, educational displays from environmental organizations, and amazing views. Reed asked me to kind of be in charge of the uh, organizations, the nonprofits that are coming here. So I recruited a number of different nonprofits that shared a similar mission to what Reed is doing with the Tributary Festival. This festival could not come to be without the help of his parents, family, friends, bandmates, volunteers, and supporting organizations and businesses. We're super proud of him. We're super excited for today. I'm a little nervous for him and just really happy to be here. A big thanks to everyone who helped out. All of the people you see here, all the workers, they're all volunteers. They're all doing this for free just because they love music in the Bay. And we really appreciate it. The Chesapeake Foundation's mission is solely dedicated to saving the Bay and its rivers and streams through pollution reduction, benefiting thousands of species and all the people in the area. really important because I feel like it's the Chesapeake Bay and just everything in general is a really important cause and us playing is just rallying people together like our, our friends like a ton of my friends are here and they come out to see us play but it's not just us playing it's for the cause. For more information on the Chesapeake Bay Foundation and Saving the Bay visit cbf.org. Now Let's meet Reed Spaulding, who's with Cameron Towson at Towson High School, to share his experience on the Tributary Festival. Let's watch. Hello, my name is Cameron Townsend, and I'm Entertainment Boulevard's correspondent. Today, we're here at Towson High School with Reed Spaulding. Hi, Reed. Hi, Cameron. So, can you tell us a little bit about how your festival went? Sure, definitely. The festival went really well. It was held last September, or this September, I guess, at the uh, at the BMI down in downtown Baltimore. We had um, over 500 attendees, over 50 student volunteers. Uh, we raised over $7,000 for the Bay and had some awesome bands, awesome food trucks, and just awesome, just awesome time throughout the day. That is amazing. Do you guys plan on doing this again, maybe like an annual, semi-annual thing? Yeah, we're currently planning on uh, doing another one in May or early June. That's amazing. I'm going to try to attend. So what's next for your band, your music? What does the future hold for you guys? Uh, we've been working on some new music, so we'll hopefully have a, an album out soon. We're also playing uh, a lot of local gigs. We actually just had one um, this week. And 
Uh, as for me, I'm hoping to go into a, a career in music production, so that's what I'm looking forward to for the future. That is amazing. Well, thank you for taking the time to chat with us today. This next song that they will perform is Real, composed by Duran Duran, which has catchy vocals, layers of keyboard, an awesome guitar solo, quick drums, and a funky bass line. Rio is one of their favorites. Drum roll, please. One, two, three, four. Thank you. 
Thank you Reed Spalding and the Adirondacks for a great show. We hope you enjoyed watching and if you have any ideas of talented individuals in the arts for future episodes, we'd like to hear from you. So please email us at bcps-tv at bcps.org. See you next time on Entertainment Boulevard.